Hey guys, this is Jay. Today we are going to see how to design movie poster in Photoshop. Before getting started, you can download all the files used in this tutorial. Link in the description, download it, use it. If you got any doubt, let me know in the comment section. I'll help you. In case if you want the completely designed .psd file means hit the like button soon after reaching under likes, I'll give you the download link. Fine, let's get started. First go to the folder you downloaded, there you will see a PSD file called Poster, open the file inside Photoshop, this one is a design ready file, right from layers panel, guidelines, everything is ready for designing, I have given the color palette, so it will be easier for you to design the poster. First we are going to bring in our background image, for that go to the folder you downloaded, open image one inside Photoshop, drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Make sure to place the image inside background folder. Now enable free transform tool and freeze the image. Fine. I'll disable the color palette now. Fine. Next we are going to bring in our model image. For that go to the folder. Open image to inside Photoshop. Actually you don't need to do anything. This one is perfectly cropped and ready for designing. I'll place the image inside model image folder. Now enable free transform tool and freeze the image. I'll settle with this one. Next, we're going to make the image blend with the background. For that, we're going to add color lookup layer. I'll clip mask the layer, right click, clip mask the layer. Next, in the color lookup, I'm going to select futuristic bleak this one and I'll change the opacity down to 52. Next, we're going to create a curves layer. Again, clip mask this layer. So I like blue curve. Now we move the curve a little bit up. Fine. Next, we are going to add shadows to our model image hand here so that it looks realistic. For that, go to the background folder, create a layer. I'll name the layer as shadow. Now go to color picker and select black color. Enable brush tool. I'm going with soft round brush this one. Now zoom in and reduce the brush size, give a few clicks like so. Sorry my flow is 50% I'll increase to 100. Now give a few clicks. Fine, it looks realistic. Next we are going to bring in a lamp image. For that go to the folder you downloaded, open image 3 inside Photoshop. Now drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now enable free transform tool and resize the image. Fine, I'll settle with this one. We need to hide the unwanted part for that we are going to create a layer mask. Now go to color picker, select black color. Now enable the marquee tool, select the portion you don't want. Now select the layer mask layer and fill black color I'm using keyboard shortcut alt backspace fine now we we have hidden the part we don't want next we are going to increase the sorry decrease the brightness a little bit for that create a brightness contrast layer i'll keep the number as minus 16 and i'll reduce the contrast to minus 4 Next, we are going to add a bird image on right side here. For the select the bird folder, next go to the folder you downloaded, open image for inside Photoshop. Drag and drop the image inside our canvas. Now enable free transform tool, resize the image. Now I'm going to reduce the brightness a little bit. Create a brightness contrast layer, clip mask the layer. I'll keep the number as minus 16. I'm not going to touch the contrast part. Next, I'm going to create a curves layer. Again, right click and clip mask the layer. Now I'm going to select blue curve and increase the curve. Sorry, move the curve a little bit up. Fine. Now by holding shift key in your keyboard, select all the three layers. Go to layer and merge the layer. Okay, now we are going to create a duplicate copy, control J. Fine. Next, we are going to add a motion blur to our board image. Go to filter, blur, 
motion blur I'll keep the angle as 49 and I'll keep the distance as, distance as 12 click OK now the image looks a little bit blurry okay so so to restore the image I'm going to create a layer mask select black color now select the brush tool I'm going the same soft round brush this one reduce the size I'll reduce the flow to 50% and give few clicks fine now it looks realistic next we're going to add glow effect to our lamp for that go to the background folder create a layer I'll change the blending mode to linear dodge this one and go to sorry before that enable the color palette we're going to use these colors now go to color picker sample this color now pick the brush tool again go with the soft round brush this one reduce the size and give a single click sorry my flow is 54 50 percent i'll increase it to 100 and give a single click fine next we're going to repeat the very same step create a layer change the blending mode to linear dodge go to color picker but this time we're going to select this one second color click ok again brush tool i'm going the same soft round brush increase the size now give a single click next we're going to add few effects to our model image for that select the model image right click blending option select inner glow sorry inner glow there i'll keep the blending mode as linear dodge I'll keep the opacity as 19 and in the color I'm going to sample and select the third one this one click OK I'm not going to touch any other settings next we are going to add click OK and next we are going to add a reflection effect to our model image for that create a layer right above all of the layers and clip mask the layer change the blending mode to screen now go to color picker sample this color but I'm going to change it to a little bit yellowish, bright yellow, something like this one. Fine. Now select brush tool. Again, I'm going to the same soft round brush. In case you want, you can reduce the flow to something around 60 and give few clicks here so that it will look like some kind of image. So lamp light reflection. Fine. Now we're done with our model image. Next, we are going to bring in our background moon image. For that, go to the folder you downloaded, open image 5 inside Photoshop. Now, drag and drop the image and place it inside our background folder. Fine. Place it at the center. Now, I'll reduce the, sorry, I'll change the blending mode to screen. Now, we are going to add a layer mask effect for that creator layer mask go to color picker going with the same black color enable brush tool select soft round brush now we erase the those border parts give few clicks make sure to adjust the flow settings fine i'll settle with this one next we are going to add movie title here now i'll close all the layer sorry folders now go to the folder you downloaded there you will see a PSD file called title open the PSD file inside Photoshop now drag and drop the text folder inside Photoshop I'll place it below the FX folder place the title design at the center fine next I'm going to add minimal effect to our title design right click the title image select blending option select drop shadow there I'll go with the black color I'll keep the opacity as 9 angle 90 distance as 4 I'll keep the spread as 24 and size as 29 next we're going to change the color for that select gradient overlay I'll keep the blending mode as normal I'll keep the opacity as 69 now select the gradient bar select the fourth one on the left side I'm going with this gray color um, on the right side I'm going with this kind of blue tinted gray color click OK now enable the reverse option I'll keep the style as linear 
I'll keep the angle as 90 and reduce the scale down to 60%. Now click OK. Next we're going to add a layer mask to our title design. Add a layer mask. Again select black color. I'm going the same soft round brush and give few clicks so that it will blend with the background image. Fine. You can disable the color palette folder now. Next we're going to add few effects for that select the effects folder now go to the folder you downloaded there you'll see a image called sorry image 6 open the image inside photoshop now drag and drop the image inside our canvas enable free transform tool and rotate it 90 degree reduce the size if you want i'll keep the blending mode as screen make sure to reduce the opacity down to 60 percent of course, it's op optional. You can go with your settings. I'll create a duplicate copy, Ctrl J. Now enable free transform tool. Give a uh, flip horizontal rotation and flip vertical. And I'll place it here. Fine. Now our poster is almost ready. As a final effect, we're going to add a color lookup layer. For that, go to the adjustment layer, create a color lookup layer. I'm going with the horror blue, this one. Of course, if you want, you can expand with the other settings. I'll keep the opacity as 36. So there you go. Now our movie poster is ready. So that's it guys. I hope this video is useful to you. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button. For more tutorials, subscribe to our channel, click the bell icon. Thanks for watching. Take care.